Hey guys! Fallen Lore Light here with another RPG Maker mapping tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these really pretty sunbeams that go across the map like this. I'm going to show you how to make sunbeams like this, and I'm also going to show you how to make sunbeams that are in the corner here. Uh, you can usually find these sunbeams online uh, pretty easily, but they're really easy to make yourself. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Uh, what you'll need for this tutorial is RPG Maker, of course. You'll need the plugin uh, foreground.js. Uh, you can use bind pictures to map, but today we're just going to use foregrounds uh, so you can see how that works. It's usually built into your RPG Maker, so just find it in your game folder and then paste it into your uh, projects plugins and then turn it on. We're also going to use Photoshop, of course. Um, I did a quick Google search, and GIMP will actually work for this technique. Uh, the filters are the same that we'll be using, so you can get away with GIMP this time. And we'll need a calculator. Okay? So I think that's uh, good enough for an introduction. Uh, let's get started. So the first thing uh, we're going to do is uh, find the width and the height of our map the map that we want the sunbeams in. And I'm going to go ahead and use the map that I made for my uh, parallax tutorial, uh, which was the default uh, 17 by 13 um, resolution. So what we want to do is make a blank canvas with these dimensions. Go to your calculator, and you want to multiply both of these by 48. So 17 times 48 is 816. So we're going to go to uh, File, New, 816 for the width, and for the height, we want 48 times 13, which is uh, 624. Oops. All right, and you want these in pixels, and the background um, should be transparent. And just press OK. All right, so now we have this blank, uh, hopefully transparent canvas. What we want to do first is fill in this canvas with a dark color. Uh, I have this dark purple color, but you can fill it in with black, you can fill it in with blue, um, as long as it's kind of darker. And just fill it in with your paint bucket. Uh, next, go to Control-Shift-N for a new layer. All right, we want a new layer. You can also go to Layer New up here, or Control-Shift-N. <laughs> And now we want a very light color, almost white. Uh, this is going to be the color of your sunbeam. So I have this um, creamish color here, but you can go completely white, you can go completely yellow if you want, uh, depending on how crazy you want to go. Here's my uh, color code if you want to copy. And what we want to do is we're going to be drawing these lines across using different sizes of our brush. So get a basic brush, all right, a circle is fine, um, with a hardness of 0%. And our first size, I have 72 already, so I'll just go ahead and keep a size of 72, 70. And with the light color selected, we're just going to um, draw these lines across our map like this. Okay, they can be messy, they, um, but try to keep them as straight as you can. If you find that your lines are jagged, you might have snap-on. Um, actually, I'm going to hide my grid, so even if we did have snap-on, that, that shouldn't have happened. So this is good. Next, you want a slightly smaller. I've got 44 here. And let's add, that one's a little too curved, about 3. That should be good. And then an even smaller one, uh, 17. The smaller ones are harder to keep straight. Hmm. But just try your best. If you have a tablet, then this would be even easier for you. There. I have about five there. Okay, this looks good. Now, to make these into sunbeams, what we need to do is go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Okay, and GIMP does have motion blur. The first thing we want to do is align our angle to meet the angle that we drew. And this will take uh, some practice. 35 is usually just about right. Um, but it, you might need to make a few adjustments. 33. I'll just keep it at 35 for now. All right. And now for the distance, what we want is a really high number. So like, maybe not that high. 
But what we're trying to do is get rid of the lines and instead make this really pretty sunbeam effect. And this is, actually looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a little less. 520, let's make it 580. So I'm at distance of 580 pixels. Okay. So I'm just going to press OK. And here we go. I'm going to hide layer 1. Now you can't even see it, but that's fine. Go to Save As. Um, you could also go to Export uh, Save for Web. Let's go ahead and do that. And um, make sure it's at PNG 24. Okay. Save. And this time what you want to do is save it in your Parallaxes folder, all right, with an exclamation point first thing. Okay, first thing in your file name, you want an exclamation point. And I'm just going to call it Light to Test um, Tutorial. Okay, one, because <laughs> we're making two here, so I'll call this one. All right, and then save. Good. All right, let's put it in our game. Um, go to your edit, go to your map properties for the map you want the sunbeam in. And in your note here, what we're going to do is we're going to write um, this crazy little bracket, right, less than sign, FG name colon, and then the name of our light, which was exclamation point uh, light tutorial one. I think that's what it was called. I actually can't remember. Light test tutorial one. My gosh. Okay. Light test tutorial one. And you don't have to write dot PNG here. Press OK. And let's see how that worked. Player. Where? <laughs> oh my gosh, look how crazy that is. All right. So what we did wrong is we forgot to change the opacity in our light rays. All right, you could keep it this way, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, light rays here, my sunbeams, and I'm going to go to opacity, make it like 50. There, and save as. Well, save for web, but I'm just going to save as um, to save on time, and then see how that looks. There, that looks a lot better. Very pretty. Okay, so we added our first sunbeam. Let's go ahead and make a corner sunbeam. To make a corner, let's make a new canvas size. Uh, what was it? It was 816, I think. 816 by 624. 624, all right. Fill it with a dark color, same as before. New layer. And this time when we make our um, light beams, we want to originate it from the corner here. So about three, make it a little bigger. That's fine, and then even bigger. There, hopefully that's good. This time go to filter, blur, and we want radial blur, okay? And your radial blur, you want the amount to be 100, the blur method to be zoom and the quality to be best. And then you're going to drag your blur center all the way to the corner where our sun is, right? And then press OK. And there, here's our sunbeam, our corner sunbeam. Let's make the opacity 50. Uh, hide our layer. Export it. Save for web. And let's call it light test tutorial 2. And let's change it in our map to light test tutorial 2, just to see how it looks. Yeah! There we go. Very pretty. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you learned something. Um, again, I'm still pretty new to making tutorials, so I mess up a lot. I hope that's okay. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you want to learn something, um, I'm open, right? I'm open to making tutorials uh, based off what you want. So just let me know. Um, I'm all ears. Thanks for watching, guys.